So uh, I went to bed at seven this morning, and as the sun is rising, I notice a sheep has um, had a miscarriage, and it's just on the ground. And then she's having like this standoff with a crow that wants to eat it. It was so sad. The sheep was crying for hours. And it was still crying when I woke up. <laughs> yeah. Drop the. Let go of the rocks. You don't need them. Yeah, just throw them on the ground. Not throw them at me. That's dangerous. I'm trying to get them to get some frogs. I don't. I don't want them. It's not a lake. It's the ocean. Yeah, so the sheep was crying and asking the other sheep for like some sort of support, but they were just ignoring her, headbutting her. It was so sad. She was like really distressed. When I went to go check on the baby this morning, the birds had already packed a hole in its stomach. Pretty brutal. I regret bringing her now. I wanted to come back to the trees here so I could look at them in my book. Yeah, you can do it. Jess was not around right now, so I've got Millie. She said she was bored, so I thought I'd bring her with me. Wait, wait there. It's another sunny day today. Welcome back, wait, guys, to whatever the heck this wait, is. Wait. I'm almost catched up to you. Caught up. Please. Almost caught up. We're on Anglesey. Why are we on Anglesey? Because I want to go see the magnolia tree. Where's magnolia tree? <laughs> We're nearly at it. So last time I saw you guys said it was a magnolia, but I'm trying to work out what kind of magnolia. The star magnolia, Campbell magnolia, what else have we got in here? A leaf. <laughs> a willow leaved magnolia, can I see the leaf? Okay. Are you sure that's from the right tree? Uh, no wrong. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's no leaves yet, it's just battles. Hmm. It doesn't look like the pictures, so it's hard to tell. Those petals aren't even in the book. I don't think they are, anyway. Hmm. Where's magnolia? Well, there's different kinds of magnolia. I'm trying to work out which one it is. How to work this out? I'm gonna get a nature book so I can put petals and things. Yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to work out what this is. The pine cone doesn't really match anything in the book, and this doesn't have any blue on the end, so it's not. It's not these ones. Uh, it's not this one here. I thought it might be that one, but it's not. So I don't know. That look pretty good. It's a massive tree. Do I look pretty is. good? Do I look pretty good? <laughs> got a petal in your hair. You've got a, a piece of bark in your head. <laughs> oh no. These are red. If you have some sticks, you can make a bongo here. <laughs> you just need some sticks and bongo. You can sit here and then <laughs> play the bongos. <laughs> play bongo. Why is so much red? Because there's there's water river rivers in the name. Water Mud. river. Mud rivers, yeah. 
I can hear all the bees just like. All the bugs are returning. Wow, look at these. Some giant leaves. There's this botanical garden down in the south of England that I've never been to. It's in Devon. I really want to visit it. Oh yeah. So birds can live in it. I think it's called the Eden Project. It's been there since like the 80s. It's just giant domes with all kinds of tropical plants. I haven't got any shoes on, it's gonna hurt. I mean, why are your shoes? On my back. Why don't you just put them on? Vegan. Yeah. What do you think I was? Like me. What do you? Before it gets too late, I want to end the vlog here, but I just want to show you guys what I'm up to. So I didn't, I didn't stream anything tonight, I'm just chilling out and get some, some administrative work done. So I'm looking for properties down in this area. That's where I want to move, anywhere in that area, because there's, there's like two national parks and a lot of nature in that area. Um, and there's also loads of different cities that I can hang out in. And then obviously Brighton and London are right there. So I used to live in this town down here, Eastbourne. I have lived in Brighton briefly and I have lived in London briefly. And also Ascot, which is over there. But I've never lived down towards the Dover area. I just know it's very green, so plenty for me to do. The ocean's also there if I need it. And also France is very close, so it'd be really useful in the summer when I'm traveling. But yeah, I found a place in Hastings, really good price on the market yesterday. I've asked my sister for, to like guide me through this because she's a She's an estate agent, so she understands all of this. She's been doing it for years. Uh, but there's so many properties to look at. Now that I've like found the area that I'm comfortable with, there's a lot of properties. I basically just want a flat, an apartment. I don't want anything house share or anything like that. I don't want to live with people that might not want to live with me because that energy will just create toxic space. So I want my own, my own space. It doesn't matter how big it is. I'm just trying to find something with, with decent light so that when I'm indoors working, I don't feel like I'm indoors. It's kind of key for me. Although I spend most of my, my day's time outside, it's becoming summer now, so the days are getting really long. I found some sweatpants, some beige ones. I'm looking for like, I'm looking for just some, I don't know, not too tight, but not too baggy sweatpants, so that I could tie dye. But then I got kind of distracted by like, looking for houses, so anyway. Lots of things are happening. I hope to move soon. I think I'm ready. I don't know what I did today. I put some stuff on my knee, some like deep heat stuff on my knee, it felt really nice, but I don't know if it's done anything. I'll keep applying. Yeah, thanks for hanging out guys. Uh, I'm gonna go and try not to go to bed too late. Uh, if the vlog's short today, it's because I want to sleep. <laughs> <laughs>